guys, a lot of you have been wondering on how to add watermarks to your edits. So today I'm going to show you and it's completely free and really easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually make an edit. But I just got this editing base and I'll leave their TikTok down below. So I'm just going to edit this video quickly and I'm going to show you guys how to add a watermark. Okay, so now comes the part where you guys can add the coloring. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on to um, a Safari and you're going to search up CCP coloring. Um, CCP coloring. And there's going to be a bunch, like, cute ones. So you're just going to go ahead and pick one. I actually really don't know. I'm just going to pick this one because it's like pastel and nope okay so i'm gonna choose this one and then you're gonna want to go onto this app funny me or fun i i don't know i don't know how to play why it. you mad why you so you're gonna press the plus button at the bottom edit video and here's your edit press the arrow and press square okay oh my god why did why is there such a big watermark Oh, I think it's because you're screen recording. Okay, never mind. So you're going to, like, um, make it smaller. Like, just pinch it and move it to a corner. Just not the bottom right corner. Just, like, the top left or right corner. Okay, you're just going to move it to one of those areas. Actually, I can make it a little bigger. You're going to press a new layer image and, like, get your coloring. Wait, I think it's already... Okay, I'm gonna make the opacity a little lower. Okay, I feel like that's good. Then what, what I how I like to add my watermark is you click the plus button for the layer, click text, write your username. I'm just gonna write. Okay, go on to here and the font I like to use is Anton Anton. I don't even know how to pronounce stuff and I just put it like right there like just right in the middle and then you're gonna um, add it again and write your username again but instead but this time make the font great vibes and make it smaller and put it right under okay if I can fit it there we go I don't know, I just like I just like this type of watermark better. Then you're gonna go on to blend for this one, make the opacity 44, around 40 to 50. And for the other one, like this Anton font one, go on to um click hard light in me and just adjust it. And there you go. Then you press the like arrow, save to private projects, and then you're gonna save to photos. Okay, here's the last step. You're going to go on to photos, and then you are going to, okay, so you are going to um, just crop it however you want, and literally, now you can post it. Okay, 
I'll leave the link from where I got my presets down below and where I got my edit base from. And I'll leave those in the description. Thank you for watching.